Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to enable the hidden multi-window feature in Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Now to get this one going, you will need to be rooted, but beyond that, it's actually pretty simple. Just install your favorite root-enabled file browser app and make sure it has text editing capabilities. I'll be using Root Explorer here to demonstrate, but there's plenty of free options that are available on the Google Play Store. But basically, to enable Marshmallow's multi-window mode, start by heading to the root partition of your device, which is the highest folder you can get to in the folder tree. From here, open the System folder, and then make sure to mount it as Read-Write so that you can make changes to the files it contains. From here, scroll down to the bottom of this folder, then long press the build.prop file and choose Open With, and make sure to open it with a text editor. Next, scroll down to the very bottom of this list, and then hit Enter a couple times to add a new line. From here, there is one line of code that you'll have to add to your build.prop file, and you can copy and paste this text for my full tutorial on Gadget Hacks. So once you got that line queued up in your clipboard, go ahead and paste it into the bottom of your build.prop file. From here, just hit the three dot menu button and go to save and exit, and at this point, all you need to do is reboot to use the new feature. Then once you get back up, multi-window mode should already be enabled. So basically, just open the recent apps menu, and you'll see these new little buttons on each of the title bars. If you want to open one of these apps in multi-window mode, just tap this little button, then it'll ask you which layout to use for your split-screen view. So choose that, then you should almost immediately go into split-screen view. You can use each of the windows individually, and they behave like you would expect them to, but for the time being, there are a few rough edges. It works in landscape mode, but it's kind of hard to select the other app that you want to use in split-screen view, so it's not perfect, but it's definitely getting there. For the full breakdown, though, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.